गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द न्यूमेरिकल रिलेटेड टू मल्टीपल को रिलेशन एनालिसिस दिस वीडियो इज इन कॉन्टिन्यूएशन टू द प्रेजेंट न्यूमेरिकल विच वी आर सॉल्विंग द न्यूमेरिकल रिलेट्स टू थ्री वेरिएबल्स दैट इज x1, x2 टू एंड एक्स थ्री द नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स इन ईच वेरिएबल इज इक्वल इन टू फोर इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉट वी डिड वी डिड द स्क्वेयर ऑफ वेरिएबल वन ऑन इंडिविजुअल आइटम वाइज बेसिस and then the square of variable 2 on individual item wise basis and then the square of variable 3 on individual item wise basis and then we took their summated values the summated values are given across for your reference for summary purposes and then in the second step what we did we calculated the product of two variables on individual item wise basis that is variable 1 and variable 2 in the first case in the second case variable 1 and variable 3 and in the third case variable 2 and variable 3 and then we took their summated values that is the sum values into reference and their resultant values are given across for your reference we used the values which we achieved up till now for calculation of zero order correlation coefficient so what we did then we calculated the zero order correlation coefficients which means the value for zero order correlation coefficient between variable 1 and variable 2 is 0.970 and for variable 1 and variable 3 the zero order correlation coefficient is 0.993 and lastly the zero order correlation coefficient between variable 2 and variable 3 is 0.973 students we'll use these values to solve the multiple correlation coefficient as asked in the question the first step relates to calculation of multiple correlation coefficient with variable 1 as dependent variable and variable 2 and variable 3 as independent variables students on your screen towards the right you are given with the summary sheet which is for your reference that is the zero order correlation coefficients are given for your reference and these values will be substituted in the generic expression which is given across for calculation of multiple correlation coefficient so if we substitute the value for zero order correlation coefficient between variable 1 and variable 2 which is 0.970 and if we substitute the value for variable 1 and variable 3 which is equivalent to 0.993 and the value for variable 2 and variable 3 for the zero order correlation coefficient which is equivalent to 0.973 and if we multiply all the zero order correlation coefficients with 2 as a multiplier so we will be able to achieve this expression solving this expression further the square of 0.970 is equivalent to 0.940 the square of 0.993 is equivalent to 0.986 and when 2 is multiplied by 0.970 and with 0.993 and with 0.973 it becomes equivalent to 1874 the square of 0.973 is equivalent to 0.946 and when the square of 0.973 which is equivalent to 0.946 is subtracted from 1 it gets reduced to 0.054 further when 1.874 gets subtracted from the additive component of 0.940 and 0.986 we are left with 0.052 and if we now solve this fraction in the square root terms that means when 0.052 is divided by 0.054 we are achieved with 0.962 in the square root part and the square root of 0.962 is equivalent to 0.980 that means the multiple correlation coefficient for variable 1 as dependent variable and variable 2 and 3 as independent variables is equivalent to 0.980 in the second case we will calculate the numeric value of multiple correlation coefficient for variable 2 as dependent variable and variable 1 and variable 3 as independent variables students again what we are given towards the right on the screen is the zero order 
correlation coefficients which have been calculated earlier and these values will be substituted in the generic expression as we did earlier after substituting the zero order correlation coefficient values in the generic expression we'll solve it now for achieving the calculated numeric value the square of 0 0.970 is 0 0.940 the square of 0 0.973 is equivalent to 0 0.946 the square of 0.993 is equivalent to 0 0.986 and when 2 is multiplied by 0 0.970 and with 0.993 and with 0.973 it becomes equivalent to 1.874 students now if we solve the numerator part first when 0.940 is added with 0.946 and then 1.874 is reduced from the additive component of the former expression we are achieved with a value equivalent to 0 0.012 and when 0 0.986 is reduced from 1 we get a value equivalent to 0 0.014 now when we solve the expression in the square root terms further the fraction is then reduced by dividing 0 0.012 by 0 0.014 and we are achieved with a value equivalent to 0 0.857 the square root of 0 0.857 is equivalent to 0 0.925 which means the multiple correlation coefficient for variable 2 as dependent variable and variable 1 and variable 3 as independent variable is equivalent to 0 0.925. Similarly, in the last case, for calculating the multiple correlation coefficient value for variable 3 as dependent variable and variable 1 and variable 2 as independent variables we will follow the same method we will substitute the calculated zero order coefficients which we did in the earlier case in the generic expression so when we are able to substitute the zero order correlation coefficients in the generic expression we will be able to achieve our expressions something like this and we will solve it further the square of 0.993 is equivalent to 0.986 the square of 973 is equivalent to 946 and the square of 970.970 is equivalent to 0 0.940 and when 2 is multiplied by 0 0.970 and with 0.993 and with 0.973 it achieves a value equivalent to 1.874 so Subtracting the expressions in the numerator part and in the denominator part, we will be able to achieve value in the numerator part equivalent to 0 0.058 and in the denominator part equivalent to 0 0.060. Now we will solve the fraction in the square root part which is given across. It means we will divide now 0 0.058 by 0 0.060 and after dividing the fraction or solving the fraction we get a value equivalent to 0.966 the square root of 0.966 is equivalent to 0.983 which means the multiple correlation coefficient for variable 3 as dependent variable and variable 1 and variable 2 as independent variable is equivalent to 0.983 students with this we end today's video lecture i hope you must have gained the clarity of the procedure which is to be followed for solving the numericals related to multiple correlation coefficients i hope you must have understood the same and will use the same clarity and method to solve some more numericals you are requested to provide your valuable feedback by liking this video and do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and have a nice day